While you were checking your credit report after another massive hack, you probably missed a smart update for your old dumb car, a solar-powered robot light, and soft and grippy robot hands. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we recommend taking a break from the Oregon shooting news by live streaming the beautiful annual trek of wildebeests and zebras in the Serengeti through October 5th. <sighs> That's better. Researchers from MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Lab have created a new kind of robotic gripper that can grasp even the most delicate items. These 3D printed hands are made of soft, pliable silicon. Each finger extends and retracts by pumping air in and out of it. Plus, they're studded with pressure sensors so the robot knows what's in its grasp and how tightly it's gripping. Thanks, but I'll wait for a set of robot devil hands. You have what my old music teacher, Mrs. Mellinger, calls stupid fingers. You too can pretend you're as fancy as your rich friends with a tech update to old Bessie, your mom's 98 Accord. We'll throw in a two weeks warranty, our 25 miles, whatever one comes first. It does have a moonroof. The startup Nato is testing a small dashboard camera with advanced computer vision software to record potential roadway hazards and you. Nato plans to share data with city governments on the Vision Zero initiative to help stop traffic deaths. Another revenue model down the road, lending the data to insurance providers hungry for driving information. Hope you don't get burned on that one, future drivers. Now you can smugly lower your electric bill with this new light reflecting mirror from Selenica. It's half robot in that it turns all day to keep directing natural light back into your home. And it's also solar powered, meta. Lucy is available for pre-order for $150. The company says just one can reduce a user's carbon footprint by up to one ton. So basically, it's a tech update to what the mummy already taught us about the Egyptians. Thanks, Hollywood. And now, TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you because we get paid to. Google announced a slew of new products at its Nexus press event. IBM invented transistors that use carbon nanotubes instead of silicon. Experian lost 15 million T-Mobile credit applications in the latest high-profile data breach. And you should totally know this, but just in case, NASA found flowing water on Mars. Did you know next week is Space Week? See you Tuesday.